Uh, greetings, Capricorn, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Uh, this is a reading for Capricorn, a sun, moon, and rising, and it's a love reading. Whenever it finds you, it's for you, about a relationship, a romantic situation, a partnership, uh, a marriage, uh, something in business or friendship. And uh, let's see what we start off with, the King of Pentacles. Well, uh, this is an earth sign like you. Uh, you're connecting to love around your wealth, around your uh, ability to be uh, the breadwinner, uh, to be uh, a business person who is very fortunate and has managed the money well in your career. And so that's the kind of love uh, that's coming in for you, Capricorn. Um, and what's coming uh, is uh, <clears throat> with this um, a King of Pentacles. Uh, you could be looking for love um, that's secure, that's stable, uh, there, where there's a lot of wealth and abundance involved. Uh, but there could be fighting uh, with this kind of energy. There could be quarrels and setbacks in your business. This could be a business relationship uh, that you're having to stand your ground for, maybe to uh, uh, have like setbacks, but that you're going to keep on moving. Uh, maybe physical energy where you uh, have some sexual tension around uh, this relationship or some uh, sports competition with friendships. Uh, but it's going to uh, lead to business success if you keep uh, persevering. And uh, this um, <clears throat> could be connecting to someone from your past, uh, a situation from your past, some nostalgia, um, where you're really uh, thinking about past love, past relationship, where there was maybe quarrels, arguments, fighting. Um, but you're renewing that innocence, that love, that childhood, a feeling of innocence um, where you just want to feel good and feel that flow of love and that joy and happiness uh, is coming because you're closing out an old cycle. Uh, you're coming to a whole new reality. You could be traveling uh, in, around the world or traveling um, and connecting to someone who's going to be uh, part of your um, new reality because you're le letting the past go. Something about the past love, you're letting it go and closing out a cycle, but you're going to be recognized and fulfilled and um, celebrate this. Uh, and the Seven of Pentacles, you're going to celebrate this and then take time to uh, reevaluate. Once we close out one cycle, the other one doesn't just immediately begin. So you're going to work with this um, sense of what you've grown. You have a, a seven uh, pentacles. That's a lot of security. But you want to see, do I want to keep planting um, my seeds in the relationship from the past where there was quarreling and arguments? Or do I want to close that out and reevaluate and move on? Uh, to the Eight of Pentacles. Well, keep on working. This is a card of really grounding and working on the relationship. Uh, being like uh, an apprentice and keeping on going with this. Uh, but you're going to be uh, successful financially in this relationship or bring a lot of financial abundance to a relationship because you've worked hard at it. And then you've got a new um, opportunity. This is, can also be an opportunity in love that you're being offered pure potential to grow this. Um, after closing out an old cycle, you're taking this new world, you see, and moving forward with it. And it's coming because of the Knight of Swords. You're getting quick communication. This could be a, a, a zealot uh, coming after the truth about a relationship that you're wanting to have information on and use your intelligence about. And it's going to bring you um, the Ten of Wands where you're closing out an, a cycle um, that has caused a lot of burden. Maybe you feel like you've been uh, carrying all the uh, weight in this relationship and you're ready to let go. You're almost there and to move on with a new opportunity. Uh, and that is what I'm seeing uh, for you at this time at Capricorn. You come upon uh, this relationship 
question where you are the boss. I mean, you're on your throne. You're the problem solver. And you've been having to deal with a lot of fighting and arguments and setbacks in what it is that you are working for, working on, uh, building, growing. And it has to do with uh, an earth sign, perhaps. But you're fighting it out with your intuition, with your fire. And you're, uh, it has to do with something from the past that is maybe returning, where you're, it's bringing up a lot of, of old conflict, maybe inner child wounding that needs to be healed and come back to innocence and to that playful happiness. Uh, and you're doing that because you're closing out the old world and there, uh, it could involve a twin, these two uh, different people together coming uh, to this uh, sense of um, a new opportunity. This is pure potential, a new relationship to grow it. And you're um, seeing what you have invested in your relationships in the past and are evaluating that, appraising it and seeing, well, uh, do I want to keep on growing here? And you say, yes, the eight. I'm going to keep working on this skill. And you're going to be financially recognized for this relationship. And it's coming because uh, you're going after it like a zealot for the truth. Uh, the right is worth the cost. And you're going to uh, have a heavy burden, an op moral obligation, I guess, to uh, in keep that truth out there, to keep moving toward it. Um, and getting to the final end, you're almost to the end of this burden in this relationship, perhaps. Uh, coming to uh, let your uh, um, whatever this weight, this responsibility, this duty, this obligation, you're going to let it go and close that old cycle out uh, successfully, uh, triumphantly. And uh, that's what I have for you, Capricorn, uh, an amazing reading. And I just wanted to jump in here and offer you this reading. Um, and whenever you find this, I hope this resonates with you around a important relationship that's on your mind today. And that's what I have. And thank you for your uh, subscriptions and thumbs up. And uh, please leave a comment. And sending you my love on this day of love and uh, love reading uh, coming to you. And so it is. Bye-bye.